I just started working on my solo project. Um, I'm, I'm almost positive it's going to be called Seven Winners and Six Summers. And um, I, I'm just having a lot of fun with it. It's, it's, it's amazing already. It's Seven Winners and Six Summers is how long I was gone. Like, I would literally sit in my cell sometimes and I would judge how long it was so I get home based on what the trees, like if the trees were, you know, bare and it were just branches, I'd be like, okay, I just got to see this happen to the trees three more times and I could go home. Or if it was summertime and the trees had a whole bunch of these, I'd be like, yes, two more summers and I'm out of here. So I would like judge it by the winters and the summers and I was gone for seven winters and six summers. You know what's interesting about that? I actually remember that. When I would visit her <clears throat> on the visiting floor, you, it was just a bunch of trees, like right outside. They had like a small yard where you can go in, sit down on the bench, sit on the swing, maybe play basketball if they allowed you. But while we would be conversating over a table because she had to sit on one side, had to sit on the other side, she would be like, you see the trees now, right? You know, all the leaves are gone, so this has to happen such and such more times for me to go home. You know what I mean? It's crazy hearing her say that because I actually remember that like, vividly. To me, I don't know. It just seemed like it made it go by faster when I thought of it in the terms of the, the leaves coming off and on the tree. It might sound yeah. crazy to you, but just thinking about it in the amount of years, I couldn't fathom thinking of it like that. It right. just seemed so long. So I'm like, if I thought about it in seasons instead, like, cause everyone waits for summer anyway. And then a lot of times in New York, a lot of people love the winter time and they're waiting for the snow when you get to bring out your coats and stuff. So I just looked at it like that. And that's, that's the story of my life right now. Like that, that was a big part of my life and I want to express that on my next project. I don't think I've ever, you know, in depth, sat down and talked about actually what I went through emotionally and physically. And some of the records that I want to put on there, I'm incorporating things that I wrote while I was away. So I can, you know, I have these books and every time I have to do something, he's like, dig into those books. Cause he thinks it's like the most amazing things that I those ever Those are the best wrote. verses that she, I ever heard from her when she was locked up. And he's like, go into the book. I'm like, nope, I'm saving that for my project. I'm saving it for my project. So when I actually go into there, I want to, you know, be in a certain mindset. Those and are the best verses I ever heard. When I said, like, she, I would speak to her on the phone. When she was like, yo, I just wrote a verse. I would listen to it. Or on a visiting floor, I would listen to a verse. And I used to be like, holy shit. You heard what you just said? Like, you can tell that. <laughs> you can tell when you hear those verses, you can tell that the person who wrote them took their time. They took their time with each line. It's just how hip-hop was back in the days. When you heard it, you knew that it was well prepared. They cooked it in the oven, you know? They let it cook slow. It tastes different that way. And those verses, I can hear it. Nowadays, you can tell people Russian. You can hear it. 